Then, they're outfitted with a special body and equipment. Selling a chassis cab or cutaway is not much different than selling an S10 or CK series pickup or G series Chevy van, because that's exactly what they are, except a cargo body must be added. That's why they're referred to as incomplete vehicles. They're unfinished trucks that a special body is mounted on. Let's look at Chevrolet chassis cabs first. Full-size Chevrolet C and K series chassis cabs are available in two and four-wheel drive models with regular, bonus, and crew cabs. Dual rear wheel models are also available. The gross vehicle weight ratings go up to 11,000 pounds. There's a full-size chassis cab that's right for virtually any full-size demand. Yet, there's a fast-growing demand for smaller special vehicles too. That's why Chevrolet offers an S10 chassis cab. That's right, an S10 regular cab two-wheel drive model for special body applications. The gross vehicle weight ratings range up to 4,600 pounds. Finally, there are G30 series van cutaways. There are conventional rear wheel models offering gross vehicle weight ratings up to 8,600 pounds and dual rear wheel models offering GVWRs up to 10,000 pounds. Recreational vehicle applications are available with GVWRs up to 10,500 pounds. And commercial applications with this increased GVWR will be available later in this model year. Chevrolet chassis cabs and cutaways are available with gas or diesel engines, like their pickup and van counterparts and also share similar standard features, trim levels, and wide range of optional equipment. So the truck can be built to match the job requirements and be as tough as it has to be. You can find out more about chassis cabs and cutaways in the Truck Body and Equipment Guide, the Body Builders Book, the Chevrolet Truck Data Book, the Sales Album, and the Chevrolet Silver Book. The Silver Book is a catalog of information from special body and equipment manufacturers, a great source book for commercial truck selling. Perhaps the best place to start is by attending the Light Duty Truck Selling Conference, conducted regularly in your zone. The Basic Conference introduces the Light Duty Truck product line and highlights Chevy value features. The Advanced Conference takes the mystery out of weight distribution and provides step-by-step -step instruction in practical use of the data book. Your sales manager can provide you with more information on attending these conferences and help you obtain the silver book and other reference tools. If you can sell a passenger car, you can sell a pickup or a van. If you can sell a pickup or a van, then you can also sell a special vehicle. And when you sell incomplete vehicles, single units and small fleets, then you gain valuable customer respect, plus the opportunity for more commercial sales and referrals for passenger cars and personal use trucks as well. Yes, there is a big demand for special vehicle sales in your area. Next time you're out driving, take note of how many you see on the road. Somebody is selling the chassis cabs and cutaways. That somebody might as well be you. It does require product knowledge to get a special vehicle to that final stage, but the effort can really pay off. Medium duty trucks, literally the backbone of commerce, industry, and agriculture. Try to think of one thing we use that the raw materials, parts, or finished item itself isn't transported by a truck. You won't come up with many. Medium duty trucks are used for all kinds of applications. Fire trucks, pickup and deliveries, stake trucks, tractors with trailers, dump trucks, beverage haulers, tank trucks, grain bodies, and don't forget that V60 bus chassis are also medium-duty trucks. 
To sell a medium-duty truck, you need to become familiar with information contained in these books, and you need to learn the basic truck terms. Many of these terms are common to light-duty trucks as well, and these sources will give you a solid foundation on which to build your medium-duty knowledge and sales ability. There are two basic parts of a medium-duty, the actual truck itself and the body, which is supplied by a body manufacturer. As you work with your customer to qualify his exact needs, the job description of the vehicle will point you toward the right truck for the job. And that means selecting the right load carrying and load moving components. Let's talk about load carrying components first. The objective is to select a truck with a wheelbase that will accommodate the body. Considerations include the cab to rear axle length, or CA, required for the type of body that will be mounted on the frame. And since the frame is the backbone of the truck, it must be strong enough to do the job and fit the body installation requirements. The front and rear axles must have gross axle weight ratings, GAWR, that can handle the total weight of the truck and its load. Weight must be distributed so the front and rear axles are not overloaded. The Medium Duty Data Book has detailed sections to help you select these components. Basically, there are two types of wheels, cast spoke wheels and ventilated disc type wheels. Tires serve two functions. First, they provide traction contact with the road. And second, they help support the load. Tire capacity should be governed by the GAWR. Now for the load moving components. Medium duty trucks may require the power to handle GDWRs in the neighborhood of 35,000 pounds or more. So you have to know when to recommend diesel or gasoline engines that supply enough torque and horsepower to get the truck and its load moving and to keep it moving at the desired speed. The transmission transmits power from the engine to the propeller shaft, which in turn provides power to the rear axle, then to the rear wheels. The transmission must provide a sufficient number of gears and ratios to move the load from standing start to the desired speed with efficiency. The final link of the drivetrain is the rear axle, which besides supporting the weight, also transfers engine torque and rotary motion from the propeller or drive shaft to the rear wheels. The truck data book can help you select the rear axle with the right weight rating and ratio for the specific application. To meet the exact load moving and load carrying needs of your customers, there are three series designations, 50, 60, and 70. Series 50 conventionals are available in GVWRs ranging from 13,800 to 18,500 pounds. GCWRs up to 32,000 pounds in wheelbases from 125 to 167 inches. Series 60 conventionals are available in GVWRs ranging from 16,000 to 24,000 pounds. GCWRs up to 45,000 pounds in wheelbases from 125 to 218 inches. The Series 70 conventionals are available in GVWRs from 19,200 to 33,200 pounds. GCWRs to 60,000 pounds in wheelbases from 125 to 254 inches. There are also Series 70 tandem axle models with GVWRs up to 50,000 pounds, GCWRs to 60,000 pounds, and with wheelbases from 149 to 226 inches. Whatever the customer's medium duty needs, Chevy offers a wide range of models to match the weight and size of the job with the right truck. And there's a full range of components and optional equipment to meet specific needs, like a choice of gasoline or diesel engines, and a choice of 21 transmissions, including four, five, 10, and 13 speed manuals, as well as a choice of four speed auxiliary and four or five speed automatics. Plus, there are 22 different rear axle choices available to efficiently meet any load carrying demand. Chevy also offers a wide range of optional equipment to meet most comfort and convenience needs, including a choice of sound systems, air conditioning, sliding glass rear window, 
torsion bar or air suspension seats, auxiliary fuel tanks, dual trumpet horns, chrome front bumper, and even grab handles to make entry and exit easier. Remember, the complete listing of all specs, equipment, and factory available options is available in the 1984 Chevrolet Medium Duty Truck Data Book. This book is indispensable to anyone who's selling these big and profitable trucks. The Chevrolet Truck Body Equipment Selection Guide can help you select and recommend the correct truck and equipment for use with special body types and vocational equipment. The Silver Book, on the other hand, includes literature and specs supplied by manufacturers of specialized truck bodies and equipment. Your sales manager can help you obtain copies of these books. Selling mediums is not the same as order taking. You have to make recommendations, understand the prospect's business and trucking needs, and really know which truck to recommend for the job. With the variety of engines, transmissions, rear axles, wheelbases, and other components to choose from, there are more than 4,800 ways to spec out a medium. That's why you need to learn how to use the Easy Spec Ordering System. It simplifies the process of selecting the right truck, components, and optional equipment necessary to do a particular job. The Vocational Index section is broken down by job applications, like city delivery, dump trucks, or farm and ranch trucks. In the Component Summary Index, you'll find a listing of major EasySpec components that identify a specific EasySpec model. EasySpec pages detail the engine, fuel and exhaust equipment, transmission, rear axle, and so on, right down to the cab equipment. EasySpecs, easy to use and understand, they can give you a real foothold into the medium-duty market. Chevrolet's Medium Duty Selling Conference is a comprehensive introductory program that's a great hands-on way to learn about specking and selling mediums. This conference literally walks you through the models, components, and easy spec process. Your sales manager can provide information on attending these sessions. Chevrolet offers the biggest line of passenger cars, light and medium duty trucks available today. Don't lock yourself out of important and profitable medium-duty sales. If you've never sold a medium, right now is a good time to learn how. Reference tools and classes are available to you. Remember, one medium-duty sale will very often open the door to more and more sales. Sales of additional mediums, of light-duty trucks, and of passenger cars as well. Chevrolet Medium-Duty Trucks.